How's it going, my NeoVim friends? Today, I want to show you a little bit about NetRW and the default file editor in Vim and in NeoVim. So we're going to jump into that. If you like videos like this, you want to see more NeoVim content, hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's jump into NetRW and how to use it. First off, whenever we jump into NeoVim, unless you have another plugin set up or you're using La LazyVim or something, this is the NetRW prompt you're going to see. And so we can jump into different node modules, go up a directory. This is the same directory, so it doesn't actually do anything whenever I hit enter. We can go into source, pages, so we can traverse things just by going JK uh, for up and down. We can also search in here. So if we want to do yarn, then I can hit enter and I'm right there on that file and I can hit enter to go into it. I have a keyboard shortcut set up, which is leader PV to go back to this, but if we wanted to do that differently, we could do colon EX, and this should jump us back into that same NetRW prompt. If we need to create a file, the way to do that is with a percent sign. And so you'll see at the very bottom, we have a file name and we can say test.txt, and that will create this new file and we can type into it and then save it. Now let's jump back over here and we should see our test file here and I can do all the same visual things that are going on. The other thing that is really cool and is different from having something like NeoTree or some other file drawer that pops up, you can do a V split here. And if we wanted to open up, let's say, let's say our buffer and we had our yarn lock on the left side here. Now, we can modify and change things. And so if we wanted to go into Docker Compose, but hey, we actually are looking for something else. We don't need to do anything strange. Like the windows automatically work because we're in NetRW and we can navigate between them just like using our normal window hotkeys. If we wanted to create a directory, we do that with JD and that will give us this directory. And we can say like maybe public, and inside of there, we want to create a new file. Again, we can do that test txt. And this will create this file and we could save it. That will close our window if we do a colon x out of there. So let's jump back to this and we'll go into public. And let's say we actually want to delete this. We do that with capital D and we'll be prompted here at the bottom. And we can say, yes, I want to delete that file and it goes away. If instead we wanna go over here and do a rename, so we can do that by doing capital R, and we're actually renaming to whatever directory is. So what we can do is actually change the directory that this goes into and say public, and then bob.txt, and you can see that goes away. If we go into public, then we have bob.txt here. This is a nice way to move files around there's another more involved way where you mark the file and then you move it. I won't go into that because I think it's a little cumbersome, but if you do a rename, then that is a really good way to be able to move files around. If you like this video and you want more NetRW or NeoVim content, give it a like and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.